Welcome in everyone. We are at Disneyland. See the Disneyland City Hall sign right there. This is my mom's first time here at Disneyland. Yes. Super excited. They have a lot going on. They have Pixar Fest. Um, we we want to try to eat at Tiana's restaurant. Never ate there before. And just have a fabulous yes. Disneyland day. So excited. Are you happy to be here? Oh yes. The weather's good. The sun's gonna come out later. Um, I'm excited. I, you know, this is an adventure. I'm ready for the magic to begin. Well, the magic has already begun, so I'm <laughs> ready to continue the magic. That sounds good. We're going to go get her her pin, first time visitor, and we want to get her reaction to the castle. So <laughs> let's start it on up. All righty. So this is Walt, the Disneyland Fire Department, and at the top up here is uh, Walt's apartment. You can kind of see the lamp in the window up there that's lit. I did a tour a couple of years ago and was able to go into his apartment. You cannot record or video in there, but they do have photographers that come take pictures of you while you're in there. I'll put a picture right here of me in the apartment, but it's a wonderful tour and they take you out on this balcony up here as well afterwards and you can sit and talk with the tour guide. The balcony is right up there and it's a great tour. If you come to Disneyland, I highly recommend it. I think the name of it was um, the Main Street Tour, I'll put the name right here so you can see it, but great tour that takes you into Walt's apartment. This is the apartment he actually stayed in um, while Disneyland was being built, uh, and it is really nice, y'all. Check it out if you can. All right, Mama's getting ready to see the castle for the first time. We're going to get her reaction <laughs> to this castle. She's still looking for it, y'all. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, yeah. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> it reminds me of the one uh, from what years ago when they used to have Disney come on every Sunday on TV. Yeah, the wonderful world that did wonderful world of Disney, and that was the castle. Yeah. So we are going down Main Street. I guess we have to go over to the right. They have the yeah. car. Oh, to the right. That to cars the on both they sides. Go right here to the right. To the left. Which way is Mama gonna go? Oh, she's going to the left. <laughs> they have a lot of Main Street transportation here that you can take, as you can see. So if you wanna, and this is free, y'all. You can hop on the trolley, you can hop on the, the little cars, and they'll take you down. It's super busy this morning. Here's another one. But there's the castle. We're coming down Main Street. Yeah, you know. So that's what it reminds me of anyway, the one that used to always be on Wonderful World at Disney. Yeah, I like it. Mama's coming on out. We went into the gift shop and we got her a first time visit pen. So my first time visit pen. Got my name on it and everything. Let me slide it on. Oh, me. All right. There we go. Very <laughs> colorful. All the little main characters. First visit. All right. And you can go into any Disneyland store like we did and just tell them you want a first time visitor's pin or I'm celebrating pin or anything like that and they'll get you hooked up. We are hungry this morning, so we are headed into Adventureland, and one of my favorite places to eat, um, it's the morning time, it's gonna be Bingo Barbecue. <laughs> we're gonna do Tiana's for lunch, but we're gonna go over here and grab some Bingo Barbecue, which I love. Um, I did a video when I came to Disneyland last year that I showed uh, the, uh, the menu and everything for Bingo Barbecue, so check that video out, but getting us some eats. So we have our bingo barbecue feast here, y'all. We have the bingo rice plate. You get rice, law, and two skewers. For the skewers, we got the chicken, the chieftain chicken skewer with Polynesian sauce. And we got the bingo beef skewer with sweet Zulu sauce. Looks good. And then we added a vegetable skewer right here. These vegetables, oh my gosh, look so good. Can't wait to jump into this. 
and we got my drink I love, my jungle julep. So we'll let you all know how we like it. I know I'm going to love it, but this will be my mom's first time having it. So we'll let we're just finishing up with our bingo barbecue. How did you like it, Mom? Everything was pretty tasty. It really was. Um, of the skewered beef, um, barbecue skewered beef, and we had the barbecue skewered chicken. Mm -hmm. um, between the two, of course, you know, beef is always more flavorful. But the chicken was good, so like a sweet and sour um, thing going on. So it was good, too. And the vegetables were really good. It was, Very it good. was seasoned good, and it was yeah. nice and fresh and crispy. Um, so now the only thing that wasn't, you know, all that great was the um, coleslaw. coleslaw. Yeah. I don't know if it was... It just had a different taste to it. Yeah. It wasn't what I expected of coleslaw. It was fresh, but, you know, it wasn't... You know my idea of coleslaw. So. I agree. My favorite skewer was the beef, and um, the vegetables were so fresh, had a nice grilled taste to it. They were um, grilled on the outside and really soft on the inside, very flavorful. So that vegetable skewer was very good. That's something I probably wouldn't have tried if my mom wasn't here. So I'm glad I tried it because I would get it again. Yeah, they had like squash, zucchini, eggplant, eggplant, purple onions. Bell peppers. Um, bell peppers. Yeah. Red bell peppers, green bell peppers. So it was a variety of vegetables. It was. And then we still have our jungle julep. Very refreshing. Not overly sweet or no. anything like that. No. So we highly recommend oh, yeah. uh, Bingo Barbecue. You liked it? Yeah. Two thumbs up for that. Um, that's a good way to start out. I hope it goes uphill. <laughs> Everything else will be on the par of this as we go throughout the day. It will. <laughs> Safari. Yes, Jungle Cruise, first ride, first oh, wow. ride of the day. <laughs> Hope I don't get attacked. <laughs> Deadliest animals on the jungle are on the right hand side. They are the mighty ducks. <laughs> but hey, don't get them angry, because when they're angry, it's foul play. Hey, down, 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 down. Okay, we got your pass for you. Keep reloading, keep reloading. Oh, no, no. Come on the back. Duck, duck, duck. Juice. Gotcha. <laughs> Okay, that's concerning because that came from my base camp and all my stuff's over there. Uh, we're going to take a quick pass to make sure everything's okay. Wait a minute, come on straight, come on. Stop! Whoa. Hey, watch it with that thing! Is that my cheek? Are you kidding me? How did you like Jungle Cruise? I really liked it. I know, you know, it's, you know, the not animals not real, but they did a good uh, replica of all the animals and the movements and everything. The Jungle Cruise director was funny, so it was fun interacting with him. I enjoyed it. I, I really like it. Glad my mom liked Jungle Cruise. Now we are heading to my favorite ride here at Disneyland, Indiana Jones Adventure Temple of the Forbidden Eye. It's my favorite ride here. Go ahead on. Hey, mom, you ready for Pirates of the Caribbean? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I said Pirates. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Yes, are you ready for Indiana Jones? Yeah, I'm ready for that adventure. All right. We are waiting for our Jeep. Here comes our Jeep. Thank you. Everyone has their bags on. We don't wear bags on the ride. It was the most excitement that I wanted to have. It was like a, Melina keeps saying it was just bumps, but it was a, like a mini roller coaster. But it was good, you know, it had all kinds of the Indiana Jones themes throughout it. You know, went up, went down, the rolling rock was a trip. That big old rock coming towards you, and you take that deep dip. Uh, yeah, that was that was quite exciting, but that's that's about much of a, of a ride, roller coaster type thing that I can handle, but I enjoyed it. And would you get on it again? 
I would get on it again. Yeah, I would definitely get on it again. It was really nice. Exciting. That's all my excitement for today. We're walking through New Orleans Square, and this is Royal Courtyard. And I mean, it really feels authentic to like the French Quarter area. I just did French Quarter Fest. Check out that video. But I mean, I really love how they um, how they designed it. They really tried to make it authentic to the feel of New Orleans. You're back in the French Quarter, huh? Yeah. Um, how did you like Pirates? That was nice, right? It was a, it was a uh, had more uh, attractions from the movies than it than the one at uh, Walt Disney World. So it was longer. And this time. I fastened up my hat because I didn't know what to expect. On the Indiana Jones ride, my hat flew off. And thank goodness it only went to the people behind me and I was able to recover it. But this time I was prepared. You know, but it was a, uh, the Paris of the Caribbean ride was, it was a nice ride. Yeah. I'm passing up the shop, uh, Yodoro Chic Boutique, Tiana's Gourmet Secrets. That's the name up there. And they have beignets they sell beignets here remember we saw beignets when we were at the french quarter fest when we went to pass up cafe de mon they sell those in here a lot of other things in here too praline mix tiana's cookbook i wonder what this candle smells like let me see mm, i don't know it smells good though it's a cute little shop here in New Orleans Square. I was passing by. I was like, oh, let me go and I never, never been in here. Oh, look at these dresses Tiana has on. Prince Naveen. I guess that's Prince Naveen. So pretty. Beautiful shop. Gorgeous. So we just finished up with Pirates of the Caribbean. We're still in New Orleans Square and we're getting ready to head into Tiana's place for lunch. We have outside seating as you can see right here. We'll try to see if we could grab something outside and uh, get some of this good old sun. Here's a look at the menu right here. Tiana's Palace. And here's the QR code if you wanted to scan and check it out. Scan that right there. Let's head on in. Oh, they have mobile pickup right here too. So you can mobile order and pick it up right there, right next to the entrance. Oh, oh they have the menu right here too when you come in with some recipes. That's cute. <laughs> oh, picture of Tian and her dad. So cute and some letters over here. It's really well themed. I like it. Right. And so you come in and you place your order and then you go outside to eat. Look at the lamps are like lily pads. That's cute. <laughs> All right. It is pretty crowded in here. Head to the back of the line. While I'm waiting in line, I see they have the beignet mix and Bayou Love potion. I guess that's like Tabasco sauce in here as well. And they have some specialty beverages, lavender lemonade and some Joffrey's coffee. I may try that lavender lemonade. Hmm, we'll see. I do like the lights that they have back there. All these areas are closed right now, but I guess when it gets really crowded, they open them up. Just those burners over there are open. So we're gonna stand in line and go around and order our food. All right, and I ordered the shrimp and grits. She's making it right there. Let's see if we can go under. Putting the shrimp on right now. See a little better right there. Put a little parsley on there. So they make it all out of these containers as you order it. I like a little assembly line. Thank you. Here we go. y'all 
So we had the shrimp and grits that I showed you that I got here at Tiana's Palace. They have the live jazz band playing, if you hear the music in the background. It's really nice. Yeah, it is nice. <laughs> nice atmosphere. Yes, I had to come out of my sweater representing Winnie the Pooh. It got warm out here. But we just finished the shrimp and grits with the um, lavender lemonade and the cornbread. And how did you like the shrimp and grits? Well, the shrimp is really seasoned really good. The grits, I guess your taste buds have to get used to the different way that stuff is cooked. And the grits you know, um, has something in it that, but if you ate it with the shrimp, it all came together. I agree. The um, shrimp was seasoned real well. Right, and so that helped the grits along. Um, yeah. The grits was real creamy with something or other, but I don't know what it, it, it was. was a, something it, in it there. Was something that they took the grits with it up. I'm not sure, but like I said, if you ate it all together, um, it was good. Yes, and the cornbread was a little cakeish, and it was also too sweet for me. Yeah, you know, I don't mind a little bit of sweetness in it, but when it's so sweet that it tastes more like dessert than cornbread, well, that's not <laughs> right. Else. If you want a cornbread that tastes like cake, get that cornbread. Right. Um, but if you're not so much, if you don't like sweet cornbread, skip it. The wow. lavender lemonade had a real strong taste of lavender, which I love. Yeah, that was good. So good, very refreshing. So like cleanse your palate. Yes, yeah, so I would definitely recommend that lavender lemonade. I don't know if I would come back for that shrimp and grits. Like Mama said, right. the uh, shrimp was seasoned real well, but, but you had to eat it all together. Right. And maybe that's what they wanted, but I'm just not... I'm used to the grits also tasting good on its own. Exactly, because I like grits all by themselves. All right, so, so I they wouldn't come back for that or the cornbread, but I would come back for this tasty lavender lemonade. <laughs> the drink seems to always be the winner. Yes. <laughs> the sun has come out, and now we see the castle all lit up, looking all pretty from the sun. I love it. And just looking back right here. Oh, love Disneyland. So nice. We are getting ready to head into the castle because here you can actually go through Sleeping Beauty's castle. So we are going to head on in. So this is where you would enter to go into Sleeping Beauty's castle. Here at Disneyland, you can actually do a walkthrough. So they had to tell the story all throughout. You go through, see different scenes. She put everybody to sleep. Yeah. Maleficent put everybody to sleep. And you read the story as you go through. steps and was able to enjoy it they told a good story i like the way they did it yeah. and you actually get to experience it through the castle so that's something new that's not at walt disney world only at disneyland y'all <laughs> very true that is only at disneyland and they do have steps in there so if you cannot go up and down steps i uh, don't recommend you doing it they do have a handicap accessible room that is downstairs. Let me go show it to you all real quick. So you enter Sleeping Beauty's Castle right over there, but if you need handicap accessible, you come over here and they have Sleeping Beauty Castle accessible uh, experience. And you come in here and they have a room, artifacts you can look at. They have a chair right here. They have a book right here and uh, show playing on here. 
and then a mirror. But this is it. You get a little more experience if you're able to go throughout, but they do have this if you're not able to go up and down the steps that are in the castle. You still jamming to Magic Cap and Parade? I'm still jamming to the Magic Cap and Parade. Wonderful parade. It so was colorful, close up, and they got they really interact with the public. They great dancers, and this is a great parade. And the music, oh, just, the music just makes you move. Yeah, have you dancing? <laughs> Made it into Fantasyland, New Fantasyland here in Disneyland. They have Snow White over there. We have Peter Pan right here. All their dark slow rides, and most of them are all in a circle going around here, which is pretty cool. They hit them all up at one time. All right, we just finished all the dark rides here in New Fantasyland. And what was your favorite, Mama? Uh, I think my favorite was Peter Pan's Flight. Because nice. it's up in the air, but not too far up, but enough to give you a little thrill. So that's why I like Peter Pan and his um, flight. Alright. So Mama's favorite was this one right here, Peter Pan's flight. I say that is definitely a classic. I love it too. Now here in Fantasyland Theater, they have the um, Pixar Pals Playtime Party. This is for the um, Pixar festivities that's going on. Hours are 11.30 to 5.30. Let's head on in, see what they have. So it looks like a dance party. You have Mr. Incredible out there dancing, Mrs. Incredible. Some photo opportunities. I see Doug over there. This is pretty cool. Frozone. They have a lot of seating in here. So a dance party and some some picture opportunities. All right. So fun place for the kids to let loose. We are heading into Toontown. A bunch of strollers right here. I just said all those strollers somehow. <laughs> I did want to mention that Toontown tonight, like they have it closes at 8 and opens back up at 10 p.m. That's for the fireworks. So keep that in mind and make sure you check that out. But we are heading on in. Toontown is really immersive. You hear the sounds. They have Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin. Uh, it's a little too spinny for me. But I did get on it. Check that video out. We are headed to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Look how pretty it is. They have more play areas in here for the kids to play at. It's really nice. What's your first impressions of Toontown, Mama? Uh, definitely colorful. Um, just like a cartoon to um town you know that you watch on TV definitely um, big lifelike for sure I think I'm liking it yeah <laughs> All right. 
I love, I love Toontown, so I'm happy she thinks she's gonna like it. We are gonna head over to Runaway Railway and hop on that. There's Roger Rabbits right there. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Good Boy Market, some areas for the kids to play. Then yeah, of course, the kids could come right here and get soaking wet because they have to have a, some sort of splash pad. And this one is super cute. You know, your kids probably would know when I leave from right here. <laughs> let's go into Mickey and Minnie's. Well, before we head into Mickey and Minnie's, let's just take a little stroll around Toontown. My mom said it reminds us sort of like Roger Rabbit, which is pretty cool because they do have a Roger Rabbit ride in here. <laughs> in the play area over there for the children. Goofy's How To Play Yard. The restaurant's right there. They have a lot of areas in here to wear your children out. Get them ready to go home and go to sleep. Back here, this is Minnie's um, Minnie's house where you can meet Minnie Mouse. And next door is Mickey's house where you can meet Mickey. Here's some green space. If you want to come take a seat, that's Mickey's house back there. More areas for the kids to play in. This is Gadget's coaster. Kitty coaster. A lot of benches for you to sit down in. Now right here is one of my favorite areas in Toontown because I will come back here, sit on one of these benches or over here on this greenery and just really chill out. Um, if you go a little further back, they have more seats back there as well. So it's really a nice area where you can come, relax, get some shade, and chill out. All in Toontown. Here's a closer look at Mickey's house. It says, hi friends, I'm filming in my movie barn. To find me there, go through my house. Hope to meet you real soon, Mickey. It's a 30 minute wait to meet Mickey right now. Has some seats back there too. And then this is Minnie's, closer look at Minnie's house right here. Oh, look at this cute little mailbox. I want a mailbox like Minnie's. Minnie's mailbox is so cute. I love it. <laughs> You could go on in. It's a 45 minute uh, wait time to meet Minnie. All right, y'all, that is Toontown, the newly updated Toontown. I love it. It's really, it's really immersive. Um, definitely something you want to check out. Oh, look at Donald. Donald just walking around. And that's another thing. They do have the characters that do roam through Toontown as well. So cute. Donald number one. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna head into Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. All right, so we just finished having dinner here at the Plaza Inn. We had the chicken with the green beans, mashed potatoes and gravy, and um, homemade biscuit. How did you like it, Mama? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Finger looking good. You know, it was good. The chicken was um, beautiful color. Yeah. It was crispy and seasoned, seasoned. really good. Really and good. And tender on the outside. It was the best meal that I've had since I've been here. The best meal she's had at Disneyland Resorts, period. period. The mashed potatoes was flavorful. They oh, were yeah. delicious. Um, and the green beans was also delicious. Everything was so good. And, and that, that biscuit, biscuit. I know that biscuit was homemade. Yes. Um, it was really good too. So, oh yeah, was, when Melina said that we was gonna be eating that chicken place, I'm like, well, chicken could go two ways, but it went a very good way. That was the good meal. I recommend anybody who comes here to definitely come to this restaurant. Come and get to that the chicken. Plaza Inn, get the chicken. It was enough where we were able to split it. Right, they we gave got you three pieces. Three pieces, and so we were able to split it. It was um, twenty-one dollars, and 
highly recommend it. A good meal to eat um, at night for your dinner, like mm -hmm. before when you're waiting for the fireworks. If you want something, a uh, hearty meal to put on your stomach, come to the Plaza Inn and get th that chicken. That was the good meal to close out the day on. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, now we get ready for our fireworks. Yep. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> All fingers up. <laughs> y'all right, we are finishing up our Disneyland night we just watched the Pixar fireworks show how did you like it Mama? it was okay I've seen better fireworks show um, from Disney so it wasn't one of my top ones no All right I will say out here I saw wondrous journeys here at Disneyland that was a better fireworks show um, the Halloween fireworks show was better I mean this was cute they had yeah. the up up is my probably one of my favorite Pixar movies and they had the up balloon come out. And they had Buzz like yeah sliding across. Oh yeah. So that was good too. That was yeah. good. Um, so they had some highlights yeah, but um, would I come back just for this fireworks show? No but I had a wonderful Disneyland day. How did you love like your first time at Disneyland? <laughs> oh I enjoyed it. This was the Mother's Day weekend. Today's Mother's Day and my daughter Molina. <laughs> Um, treated me um, to this um, weekend here at um, Disneyland and it was fantastic. I enjoyed it, you know, I enjoyed being with her. I enjoyed um, the rides. Uh, I just enjoyed the, just being here at Adventureland and um, uh, Disneyland and California, Disneyland California and, Adventure Park. Yeah. Yep. The Disneyland resorts, I love them. I come out here couple of times a year and I really do enjoy Disneyland so I'm happy my mom got to finally come to the Disneyland resorts and she enjoyed it and I really like the parades man the parades oh, yeah. was out of sight I mean they were fantastic yes those parades I mean they have um, the magic happens parade here at Disneyland that's my favorite oh, parade. that was really good and the one yesterday the better together better together yes. that was fantastic also that's only for pixar fest if you go to california adventures so and the best meal that i got was at um the the palace um the palace restaurant the chicken the chicken the mashed potatoes and the green beans yes yeah, so that was good the best food that they had out here on both days <laughs> All right, y'all. And the you. Pixar Festival in itself, you know, I just enjoy being at Disneyland. Yeah. Um, the Pixar Fest, they have to do more um, to bring out that 
festival more. I agree. And come um, up with some better food. Yeah, come, definitely come up with better food and come up with more interactive things that's centered on Pixar. Right. I agree. This is the first time they brought it back since 2018, so it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Yeah. Yeah. But I enjoyed it. I had a wonderful weekend, <laughs> you know, um, and happy Mother Day to all the mothers out there. I hope y'all had a blessed day today also. Amen. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.